Well, welcome back, everybody. We have a very exciting event that's about to happen this weekend in Bernie for Dia de la Rosa. This gentleman right here, Geraldo Ortega, just came in from Mexico to show us some of the art that he's working on. He's a fourth generation artisan, and with him also is Amy Niederhauser. And you guys, tell us a little bit about this very exciting event and some of the art we have right here in studio. Well, we're, we're really excited to have Gerardo and his wife Gabby with us uh, all weekend. They're going to be at Cosa's in Bernie on Main Street from 10.30 a.m. Saturday until 8 p.m. at night. And we have a, a special reception in their honor as part of Second Saturday in Bernie. Uh, Saturday evening, complimentary wine and appetizers for everyone. And there are actually six galleries in Bernie that participate in this event with a free trolley. And this is some of the art that you're going to be <coughs> seeing, right? This is all yes. clay, apparently. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Paro be Betus. Is called. And, and this is something that you have been doing for generations. You're the fourth generation of your family who does this type of artisan clay work. And right now I noticed that it, you don't have a lot of tools. You really do work with your, with your hands mostly. Yeah, it's almost 100% making by hand. That's amazing. And you have th these very fundamental type tools. This is actually a, a mold, a right? A mold, yeah. That's, we use it for to make the face of the one of the dogs of, that we make for the towers. It's a rock, though. It looks like a rock. And so then you it's just the, kind of... It's the, this is the clay fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then so you do, do different templates like that. Oh, yeah. Why is this event so very important? Because I know that we're constantly talking about... Um, keeping traditions and generations and sometimes in the Hispanic culture we're losing some of that it seems like but this is this is just celebrating um, traditional art exactly and and at COSAS we really believe in supporting all of the artists that we work with and we work with dozens and dozens of artists throughout Mexico and uh, and it's special to to have our customers have a chance to meet artists like Gerardo and talk to him about his work and the history of his work and his family and it's just something very special that adds another dimension to the experience that our customers have. And you're telling me a piece like this beautiful work right here takes about two days for you to complete. It's so intricate and specific though. I was thinking it might take longer, but you work pretty fast because just as I speak to you, you're like putting a, you're putting some masterpiece together as I talk to you. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have pieces um, like this one in 20 minutes, we can have one of those ready for, for to fire. And we have pieces like the cross, we take two days. To what kind of clay do you use? We use clay from the area where we, where we are, mm, for close to Tonala, Jalisco. So your overhead's minimal, right? You just scoop that up and then yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to play for it or anything. What does your shop look like? Is it a very large shop? Do you have a school there as well? Yeah, we have a school. It's a small, small workshop. And we work together with my brothers, nephews, and relatives. Mm. And we make uh, about 40 pieces a day. Wow. And pieces like this, what do they run for generally? Are they affordable pieces? Very much so. A, a piece like this rooster can be $30, but a piece like this cross can be upwards of 300 So it really depends on how complicated the piece is. Mm -hmm. but, the thing that's great about Gerardo and, and the whole Ortega family is they're constantly creating new things, inventing new things, and we have beautiful works of art just for decoration and also useful things. I mean, we, Gerardo makes lamps, for example. So we have lamps that are stacks of dogs. We have a, a lamp that's a cross that looks like this. Amazing. So you can actually use some of the pieces as well as enjoy how beautiful they are. Excellent. Well, I'm inspired and so very much impressed just in talking to you in the last couple of minutes. You've been creating what looks like a rooster, right? Is that what yeah, that is? It is. Yeah. Well, it's we'll check in with him a little bit later, but thank you so much for coming and visiting us. You're very inspiring. I thank can't you. wait to, to be able to see some of your art. If you guys want to check out Dia de la Rosa, you can see Gerardo Ortega at the Casas Gallery there in Bernie. It'll be happening both Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Yes. Thank you so and much. We, we do have a website, costasonline.com. Com Cosa's or Cosa's Mexican Art on Facebook. Excellent. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. And stay tuned. We have so much more coming up this hour and in the 8 o'clock hour. Don't go away. You're watching Fox News First, all local, all morning.